Okay, today we've got a Volvo, it's an XC60, it's a diesel, all wheel drive. The car's put in today to have all four wheel brakes replaced. Now on these Volvos, they've got electronic handbrake at the rear. Uh, it's quite a complex system, you need to have proper scan tools to do this. You have to release the, the electronic handbrake mechanism on the rear. We'll be showing you how to do it through the Autel MaxiDAS um, system. If you don't release these rear brakes, you can potentially lose your fingers. It can be very dangerous. So we're just going to go through today and show you how to do it and that's via the, uh, the MaxiDAS. Okay, we'll go through that. Okay, so I'm in the XC60 and I'm going to show you how to deactivate the rear brakes so you can take out the pads. Um, I have a Maxi DAS here, a DS708, and all you do is you select your make and your model. Then you go into control unit. Once it's loaded, you go down, find a park brake module, click on that. And you go down to advanced function, activation and service, press OK. And here you have a list of things to do. What you want to do is you want to activate service mode. But first, you have to turn the ignition on, which you do by holding the start button. All the lights on the dash, you come up, click on that. And you know it'll be activating because it'll sound like you're activating the park brake, except it'll last a lot longer. Click OK, and that's done. OK, so we've wound back the electronic brakes on the handbrake side of things, so we've reset those back to zero. Uh, we've now, we've actually replaced the, the brake disc already. That's the old one there. So I've put a brand new brake disc on it. We've got Remtech Euro pads to go back in it. They're a good pad for these cars. Um, the, the calipers and everything come off as normal. You've got the electronics here. This is the handbrake. The pistons now, they actually just wind back in so you can just push them. These sometimes used to you have to wind them in with a special tool but these ones here we found out that we can just push them back and it's actually going it's going back quite easy. So we'll just reset all those. You have to align the pin, do you have to align the pin? No, there's no pin. Sometimes they have a, a locating pin in here for this um, this brake caliper piston. But on this one it doesn't. So we just wind those back in, set them back to zero. Put it all back together and continue on to the fronts. And we've got to bleed the brakes as well. Now, leave it back. Okay, now we've got the brakes back in. All you want to do is you want to do an installing check. Apply parking brake, release parking brake, make sure it all works. Then you go exit serving mode, service mode. And that's done.